Hello and welcome to Finance Walk. Uh, in this video, we'll cover uh, how to write equity research report part two. Uh, in last video, we covered uh, uh, equity research process. So in this video, we will cover uh, the criteria meaning uh, of the terms we used in uh, first video and uh, we'll primarily see different pointers for writing equity research report so stick stick to do the these pointers and uh, you will uh, never go wrong in writing equity research report okay so we'll start with uh, criteria or meanings of the terms uh, we used in uh, last video that is equity is how to write equity research report part one uh, we used term intrinsic value analysis now what is intrinsic value analysis uh, we have covered this uh, in detail in DCF analysis, but uh, let's revisit the term. Determine uh, securities intrinsic value based on discounted free cash flow, that is DCF analysis. Okay, estimates of future free cash flows are discounted back to current rupees, including variables like uh, risk assessment and the capital structure. So uh, some pointers uh, uh, like uh, present value of shares versus current share price, then uh, projecting 10 to 15 years uh, for uh, earnings uh, model or uh, balance sheet uh, income statement and uh, cash flows. Then uh, define parameters around uh, DCF to make it more reasonable. Okay. So after intrinsic value analysis, let's uh, move to the next term which we used, that is uh, relative valuation. What is relative valuation? Assessing a security's uh, relative value by comparing appropriate financial ratios across peer groups. So you can compare it with industry groups also. We, we already covered that in uh, uh, relative valuation different uh, parameters of relative valuation on which uh, the particular company should be valued or compared is uh, first uh, PE ratio that is price to earnings then efficiency and uh, margins then company value uh, we need to uh, look at PE trading history also uh, then current PE level justification okay then uh, valuation versus appropriate index so compare that in relative valuation next part is uh, some of the parts valuation determining fair of uh, fair uh, sorry determining fair value of a stock by determining private uh, market values for a firm's individual units that's called some of the parts i repeat determining fair value of a stock by determining private market values for a firm's individual units no clear comparison uh, or conglomerate how to do that break divisions up as a standalone business units calculate a relative value for each division and then arrive at a blended valuation this is called sum of the parts valuation okay third uh, or for next part is risk assessment what is risk assessment you need to look at insider buying uh, insider buying or insider trading that we already covered in uh, first uh, uh, introduction to capital markets module okay then uh, beta look at beta it uh, tells you the riskiness or volatility of uh, uh, share price then uh, event uh, risk like litigation or single product risk or regulatory changes you need to check companies risk okay economic moat what is economic moat economic moat is a term used by warren buffet to describe the predictability and the sustainability of a company's future profits if a company earns a high uh, return on invested capital it attracts competitors which then capture a portion of those excess returns okay so only companies with wide economic modes 
like something inherent in their businesses that competitors cannot replicate can hope to keep these competitive forces at bay for a prolonged period in short it's a measure of a company's competitive strength that is competitive advantage and the predictability of its future uh, free cash flows okay so if uh, look at uh, look at the company particular company if uh, they have any economic moat if they do not have economic moat it is likely uh, attacked by different companies and uh, these companies will take away excess returns okay so this can be a serious threat so after looking at these criteria or meaning of the terms that we used in equity research process uh, we'll move to uh, different pointers uh, which are important for writing equity research report okay so this is based on our experience and if you to uh, follow uh, these pointers uh, you will uh, not go wrong in writing equity research reports okay so first point is uh, before writing equity research report have a clear view of the company in mind okay its investment rationale risk assessment key growth drivers cost drivers and revenue drivers okay so next point is mention the company's name your recommendation or rating as buy sell or hold you can also use the words outperform underperform or neutral or accumulate based on your valuation so have a picture of uh, equity research report in mind and uh, then uh, check what's the front page of the equity research report so we are going uh, by that particular uh, order okay so uh, if you look at any equity research report the front page or the top part will uh, cover the name of that uh, equity research analyst and uh, his recommendation whether he has given buy sell or sell or hold uh, uh, recommendation okay so after that uh, let's move to third uh, point that is target price give your calculated target price clearly on the first page of the report okay so uh, we you can check uh, some reports uh, in this uh, particular module we are going to give some examples for this okay the next pointer is about investment rational give your investment rational or conclusion clearly why do you think the company's share price will go up or down share price chart include a chart of uh, price of share of the company in the last one year on uh, bsc or nsc business model analyze the company's business model and interpret the likely scenario in the next two to three years key ratio analysis for a quick snapshot of company's key ratios and statistics include parameters like price target upside to price target percentage 52 week high low price market capitalization enterprise value ebitda ev by ebitda and dividend yield in percentage terms on the first page itself next point is product profile and segments forecast income statement balance sheet cash flow statement and key ratios for the next 3 years okay for that okay so about product uh, profile and segments analyze the company's product profile and its various segments and brands include the analysis of the current sales and forecasted figures of revenues cost market size company's market share competition and its performance in domestic and other markets economy industry and company analysis eic model which we have covered in fundamental analysis after including analysis of economy industry company analysis of the company go for the valuation models okay then perform dcf analysis and uh, relative valuation with the company's peers so relative valuation has to be done with company's peers based on parameters like eps pe p by book p by sales return on equity and return on capital employed 
next point is reasoning for recommendation write your proper reasoning for your rec recommendations for example why to buy the shares of the company or why not to buy the shares of this company so your reasoning has to be strong unlocking the value okay analyze and mention what could trigger or unlock or reduce the value of the company what is the demand supply mechanics for the company's products next is legal matters see if the company is fighting any legal battle and uh, what would be its repercussions next while writing industry reports analyze the points which are common across the players like regulatory limitation excise duty oil prices etc covering all the areas the main thing in writing uh, the equity research report is assuming that the user or uh, reader of the report is new to the company and giving him the precise information about the company by touching all the areas like product financials management market uh, future plans of the company growth estimates uh, for the stock or company and the risk factors of the company okay so uh, these are the pointers which uh, uh, i would say uh, are very important uh, uh, while writing equity research reports so as an analyst you should keep all these pointers uh, uh, in mind and you should not miss any of these points you can check uh, sample reports for a uh, sample reports uh, given by different equity research analyst okay so we so we will include uh, those uh, uh, equity research reports sample equity research reports in module